Blessed is he that comes to the name of the Lord. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. I'm covering with the glory of God. In Jesus' name. Our last prayer. Our Father, unto in heaven, I love thy name. Thy kingdom come. That we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive us our trespasses against us. And lead us unto the temptation, deliver us from all evil, for that is the kingdom, power and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. Our today someone, power of fasting. Power of fasting. There is power in fasting. So that you hear the sermon today, you will check yourself, check what is delaying your miracle. Check what is the your blessing. Father, we take us, we never pass away. Your word is settled in heaven, purified seven times. You magnify your word above all your names. You say our righteousness is like a little rag. You put and accredit the righteousness of our righteous person in lives. Make us worthy to be blessed in this world and the world to come. The word of God are going to get fall on a good ground to be able in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The power of fasting, anything. You, you, you imitate Jesus the mighty God. That is, he was fasting. He was fasting. So if Jesus, the Son of God, that is not ordinary human being, was fasting, then you that is ordinary human being, why won't you fast? Why do you eat always? Fasting is powerful. Suffers the hell. Suffers the power. You need to fast. There are importance of fasting. There are things fasting does in the life of a person. It should make the glory of God to shine on your face when you really did the real fasting. There are people that fast when they fast, they spoil it, they don't do real fasting. It makes the glory of God to shine on your face. When Moses went in the Middle East to fast for 40 days, he came out with a glow on his face. Glory of God covered. The Israelites were afraid. Glory of God covered when he came out for 40 days. You will carry the glory of God. And fasting makes number two, it helps you to quote when you open to the book of Matthew 4, 23 to 24. Fasting makes you to be quoted. Okay, first of all, open Matthew 4, 1, 2. Before 23 to 25. Matthew made the end. And Jesus, full of Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led in the Spirit in the wilderness. During 40 days, he was fasting for 40 days, being tempted of the devil, and he did eat nothing in those days. And when they were completed, he hungered. After the fasting, he was hungry. Jesus fasted for 40 days. Fasting made with the open the book, uh, the of it, open the book for 23. Then after the fasting, when the devil came to tempt Jesus, Jesus overcome the devil. Fasting makes you to overcome. Overcome temptation, overcome devil, overcome problems. Open the book, Luke 4, 22, 25. Fasting makes you to overcome. Through what of God, through what of God. When problem comes, memory, what of God will escape from their memory. They will not remember quotation. That is means that you are not in spirit. We will remember sick. Hey, what will I put? What will I put? Praise the Lord. You are not in the spirit. That is the work of not fasting. Open that look, this is look 4, 23, 25. 23, 25. That is the power of fasting. Fasting helps you to quote the word of God. Bible it says in 4, 4, Matthew, uh, Luke 4, 4. Luke 4, 4. Look for for be judge boy who said Jesus answered and said unto him. This is when the devil was tempting Jesus, throw yourself from here, throw yourself from there. What Jesus used to overcome the devil and all his temptation was word of God. And he was coming out from fasting. In the look of the book of the look for one to be, he was he fasted for 40 days, but read it before here. But when he came out, the next thing he faced was temptation. And what did he use to overcome the word of God? So fasting helps you to quote. What was the first word of God Jesus quoted? He said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Praise the Lord. It gives you power to quote. And this quotation was quoted in Deuteronomy. 
Moses put the person into trouble. So all the things Jesus answered to the devil, all of them were in the Bible. Man shall not be able to live. And he led them up and showed him all the kingdom of the world in a moment. And the devil said, To thee I will give authority and the glory of them. It has been delivered unto me, and whosoever I will give it. Continue scrolling. Jesus answered again, Word of God. That is the power of fasting. Jesus answered again, If thou will worship me, I will, it shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said to him, It is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. Only him that shall serve. That is the word of fasting. You can put, not only physical, in the dream. How you will know that you are powerful in the dream? During battle, you put the word of God to pray. Then you know that you are powerful. In the dream, when you get sudden attack, you start praying, you start to pray in the dream. Or you put the you know that you are spiritual alert. And what can help you to be used that is fasting. And the Bible says again, it says, that only him that shall serve. And this is written in the book of Psalm. That shall worship without their God, only him that shall serve. The ninth said again, he led him to Jerusalem and sent him in a pinnacle of the temple. I said, if thou the son of God cast thyself from here, continuous willing. That means after fasting is temptation. And Jesus answered me again, it is written, he shall give this angel. Uh, devil told Jesus, the uh, Bible said, you know this one is in Psalm 91. He will give his angel shall be over you to guide him. On their hand, they shall bear you up. You know, devil can quote. This one, the people that are listening, what is 91, used to read the one, this one. This is what devil was quoting for Jesus. Uh, God said that he will give his angel shall be over you. On their hand, they shall bear you up. Oh, let's you dash your foot against the stone. So Jesus from the mountain until you happen to you. Jesus replied to Satan and answered unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. He was said, Try him. Thou shalt not tempt that word of God. So fasting makes you to be quoted. To be quoted the word of God because it's only the word of God that will be to set you free. Only the word of God. Only the word of God will give you the grace to be fasting so that you have the spirit of quoting the word of God in Jesus' name because you need to be writing it down. All the quotation because I hear some testimonies in the churches. They said I had attack. I went to the book where I was fighting the summer. This quotation, this testimony was from the uh, first tabernacle. I was preaching. I used to write quotations, quotations. I have my book. There was a attack I had. I just opened it, opened it, opened it. I checked the quotation that concerned that attack. Immediately I quoted it immediately. I was free. But then people don't write quotation will set you free. Quotation, word of God. Bible says, whoever the Son of Man sets free, is free what? Indeed. Indeed. Because that word of God is what? Jesus. Bible says, Jesus is the word that do what? Made flesh. And dwell among us. So Jesus is the word. You need the word of God in your life. Nothing that was well written. You need quotations. It's quotations that we bless. You can quote it years. You can quote it years. You can say, at times you say, yes, God, do this quotation. <laughs> I prayed it many years, nothing happened to my life. Have patience. I prayed it several years, nothing happened to my life. Have patience. You have patience. One day God will remember you. I told you God remember people in this church this month. You have patience. Everybody, including the head. God will remember you this month in Jesus' name. Amen. Also, I'll be if you see what I've been suffering for years in praying for hours, nobody say, hey, since five years. But one day, God remembered me. So that's why I'm telling you, continue. Continue. I know why I'm telling you this. I know why I'm telling you this. Continue. There is power in prayer and fasting. My word is to tell you the secret of being blessed prayer and fasting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then, number two. Fasting helps you to get favor. When two Hebrew children was a have to go to a king in Daniel 1, they didn't fast because they were children, but they didn't eat diet. They eat dust, not food of no ingredient, for 10 days. And when they went to the king, they find favor. Fasting makes you to find favor. Then number four, fasting makes people to wonder about your life. For example, when you go to the book of Matthew 4, 23 to 24. Matthew, sorry. Luke 4, 12 to 14. Luke 4, 12 to 14. It makes people to wonder, how manage? How are you getting this type of favor? How manage? People wonder, think God is doing through your life, is fasting. Bible says, yeah? Oh, fine. Look from look for from twelve. You continue scrolling. You continue maybe make it up to 
Okay. And Jesus answered and said unto me, it is said, okay, we have, we, have, we have done this one. Start from 14, start from 14. Look for, or from 13. Yeah, make people to wonder. Bible says, and when the devil had completed every temptation, he departed from that season, continue scrolling, it makes people to wonder. Bible says, and Jesus returned in power of the Holy Ghost into Galilee. Fasting makes you to have a powerful return with power to overcome. And firm, you know what is firm? Announced, he was announced. Firm went out concerning him through all the region right about. Means, firm means because of the miracle he was doing, that people did firm means stories. Because of the miracle, continue scrolling. Because of the miracle God was using to, to do, firm, Bible says, Firm, concerning the miracles God was using him to do. Now go back to Matthew 4. Matthew 4 from 23 to 25. Matthew 4, 23 to 25. Bible says, after the fasting, Jesus went about in Galilee, and what happened, the Bible says, teaching in the synagogue. Fasting makes you to have the knowledge of the word of God. When you fast all age, God will be ministering to you. Preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Healing all manner of disease. This happened after fasting. It makes you to have power. Healing all manner of disease and all manner of sickness among the people. And the report of him went into all Syria. They will be brought to him all that we are sick, hold with different types of disease and torment, those possessed with demons and epilepsy and sarsi that is paralyzed, and he healed all of them. And there followed him great multitude from Galilee and Diacopolis and Jerusalem and Judah from beyond the Jordan. The firm went people to wonder how manage things that can, even if you are not healing people, things that will be happening in your life, people will be wondering what how manage. That is the work of fasting. Any church that members doesn't fast, it is difficult for to have testimonies. It is difficult to really get blessing. Fasting releases blessings. Number seven, number four, fasting makes you to have faith. It increases your faith. It makes you to have faith. That it will remove doubt. It makes you to be in spirit. Fasting makes you to decrease, and God will increase. Decreasing means God will say, okay, allow me to fight. You just say, God will be fighting for you. That is what of passing. It makes you to decrease. You don't need to struggle. You don't need to fight. God will be fighting for you. When you open to the book of Matthew, the book of John, 34, 30 to 34, it makes you to decrease. God fighting your battle. You don't need to struggle. You, you fight. We, at times, God will give us a fast and relax. You see what I will do. But we say, they went out of the city and come to him. This is when Jesus was a disciple. No, from 33. This one from 32. Okay, 33 from, from 30. In the meanwhile, the disciples prayed and said, Rabbi, but he said unto him, I have meat to eat, you know not. They went and bought meat. Continue scrolling. They went and bought meat for God to eat, for Jesus to eat. Jesus told them that he has meat, that he has already meat to eat. And they are wondering what type of meat. Jesus told them, the disciples therefore said to one another, has any man brought him meat? Anyone went to buy meat for Jesus? And Jesus said unto him, unto the disciples, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Jesus' ministry is not eating. Children of God is not eating and drinking. He said his meat is to do the work of God and finish his work. Jesus was not eating. That's why miracles was flowing. Your meat is for you to do the will of God and be raptured on the last day, not food. When you eat too much, it attracts devil. Too much food, you cannot even command a fly that enters your house to go out. The fly will go out. Overfeeding is not good for child of God. If any church that is not fasting, if you hear this there is it's a grace of God. And devil makes people to eat, use food. That time you will fast. That something that we hungry, you must like to eat. Fasting is very, very powerful. Fasting is very, very important. You need to fast. Jesus Christ said his meat is not fasting. That was not important. Leave because there is something he was targeting. And he finally ended in targeting it. He was crucified and at the last day he was risen and written in heaven. So when you are targeting something, make your body, present your body living sacrifice. Praise the Lord. God will give you the spirit of fasting in Jesus' name. Amen. The spirit of fasting. 
Fasting also helps you to release you from sin. When you are fasting, that's why I don't want to spoil it. I'm deciding to down fast. I don't want to spoil it. It makes you, you will not like to commit sin because you're fasting. So when you fast, always, always, you don't like to commit sin. So fasting helps you to reduce sin. That's why fasting is important. Fasting and prayer. Prayer and fasting, very, very important. It helps you to help to reduce sin. Praise the Lord. You will like that, you know, you know the sin you commit. So anytime you want to commit it, you may remember that you are fasting, you don't like to do it. So God will give you the grace to start fasting from today in Jesus' name. Amen. So that your dignity miracle will be released. It makes you to see the unseen. What other people are not seeing, you'll be seeing it. Hear the unheard, it will be revealing things to you. Make you to know the unknown. What you don't, the mystery, understand the mystery. That is the work of fasting. Praise the Lord. God said I should teach you about fasting today. Fasting is very, very important. If you're not fasting, remember the time after Jamaican went to the, release the prayers of Daniel. Because Daniel is fasted 21 days. When you open to the book of Daniel, 9 3, first of all, 9 3. 9 3, Daniel said, And I set my face unto the Lord to seek prayer and supplication and with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Fasting because he was seeking something from the God. He fasted 21 days. Then after the 21 days fasting, then what happened? Go to December Daniel 9, 21 to 23. God said, after the 21, the Bible said, Yeah, when I was speaking, the man Gabriel, the angel Gabriel, whom I have seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, just help the angel fly. Touched me about at the evening obligation and said, instructed me and talked with me. He spoke with Angel Gabriel inside 21 days. And that and the Angel Gabriel told Daniel, Oh, Daniel, I am now for to give you wisdom and understanding. It gives wisdom. That 21 days, God gave Angel Gabriel wisdom to give Daniel, give you wisdom and understanding. And another thing that was given to him, Bible said, and Jehovah told Daniel that at the beginning of thy supplication, command me went forth. Command means of the God commanded to go and answer prayer. At the beginning, he never even finished you. At the beginning of your supplication, when he started the fasting, command from God. Because it's God that commands angel to come and bless. Bible says, command you went to him. If you are not maybe Papa, command go. Go and command that authority to release them. They are in the prison. Go and command that authority to release. Command. When God command, who is he? Who is he? Who is man being in the office? Command was given immediately to go and answer the next prayer. Our Bible says, "Then God, I am come to tell you that you are greatly beloved." This news, all the easy informations, we are giving to Daniel during twenty-one days fast. Therefore, consider the matter and understand the vision. Fantastic. Can you see what is result from the beginning? Why is it from the beginning? Because Daniel has determined that he will finish it. And God knew that he will finish it. Some people said, we will do what? In the middle, they will break it. I, I missed it today. Those, some people, God knows that in the middle, that they will shake. Come on, we don't go out from the beginning until you finish it. So God will give you the grace to know that fasting is very important to start fasting from today in Jesus' name. Amen. Fasting is important. If you know that you want God to answer your problem, bless you, answer your prayers, solve your problem, start fasting. Start fasting. Fasting is important. When you open the same book of um, uh, Luke 4, 12 to 14, you can know another importance of fasting. Look for what he said again, and Jesus answered that. To, uh, um, okay, from make it up to 16. And Jesus returned in power and spirit in Galilee, and fell went out. It meant fair means story news. When you're fasting too much, something that will make people to talk news, news of a good thing, news of wonder will happen in your life. That is the work of fasting. God will give you the grace. God will give you the grace to be fasting in Jesus' name. Amen. Because I'm telling you all the secrets of fasting. So that when you are here, maybe then you open again to the book of. Okay, I've said we have read Mark 5, 3, 35. So fasting is very, very important. And when you are fasting, you present your body living sacrifice. Romans 12, 1. Living sacrifice. 
after last Sunday preaching, someone they called me, called, called me and told me, say, Mommy, those things are from the heart. You have had the dressing. Dressing you are saying is the heart. I said, okay, it's good. It's from the heart. Uh, I believe it's from the heart. Where nectar and rapture comes, even if you are, your heart is very, very more than that of all the angels, there is a dressing you with dress. Rapture comes, you are not going. Praise the Lord. Rapture comes, you are not going anywhere. He said, it's God's heart, God looks. And when God looks at your heart, you will not dress like the Revelation 17. Revelation 17. No, not here when you go home, you read Revelation 17. That thing is about dressing, how God hates bad dressing. If you read Revelation 17 from beginning to the end, you will not like to dress one day again. Even if you are angel, you have the best character, your blessing can make you to go to the fire. Your dressing, your dressing. Praise the Lord. God doesn't only look at heart, it looks outside. That's why the Bible says, Romans 12, 1, I beseech you therefore, breathing, by the mercies of God to present your bodies. This one is not even hard again. Present your bodies a living word sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service. When you wear bomb shorts, is it holy to God? Uh, inside, he said, present your body a living. Why can't you sacrifice your life for God and get what you want? A living sacrifice, holy. When you dress, your breast is showing. Is it holy? No. Acceptable to God. Is it accepted to God? No. When someone you dress like this, everybody see everything on that. Is it accepted to God? No. 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 I'm not going to answer. He said. He said. I'm not going to answer that one. They don't answer. They answer. They answer. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Which is your spiritual word? Service. You need to praise the spiritual service. So outside and inside are involved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. After this sermon, God will remember you in Jesus' name. Amen. God will remember you in Jesus' name. Amen. Then another thing is say, when you are fasting, we have said present your body, living sacrifice, it matters. Those dressing are married dressing. Another thing, when you are fasting or when you come to church, receive blessing from God. Don't criticize person. When I was in Nigeria, I go to Oyedepo, Ota. You know what? They have buses all over Lagos. They have in Abo, have 200 or something buses that comes to carry people. I always enter the one of Ago. When we are going to church, the discussions and the bus are discussion of the children of God. You will know that these people are real Christian. You know that these people are going to church. Then after the church, when we are coming back, every boss, you will not hear people discussing rubbish or gossiping about that person's name or talking about somebody inside church because that's how you are coming back with blessings. What will be that time you will say what we always hear in the boss? People that have good voices, you know it's a this long boss that have ugly face. People that have good voices, some people will get one side and be singing with their beautiful voice. Some people will be meditating on the word of God. Some people that are even recorded the word of God will be listening to it. Some people that have texts will put texts on their ear. Some people that, some people, some people will be discussing uh, potential this. Some people, anybody that is in that world will know that these are the children of God. You can come to church, you fast and you receive blessing, you enter God's. Immediately the person will drop, drop the person down, bam, something is going to the person. Not that I'm anything, though, anything where she's here, you How do you think that after you discuss such a thing inside, boss, you are coming from church that you carry blessing with us? And nobody will caution them. Stop it! Everybody can quiet, which means you are enjoying that criticism. Praise the Lord! When everybody giving our thoughts inside the boss, get quiet! No one said, stop! Stop criticizing someone who are just coming from church now. What you are saying inside God, don't tell them anything to where she can go tell pastor. Nobody in the body says stop it. Everybody kept quiet, which means the discussion is enjoyable. How do you think that person that discusses has said that blessing for the people for that, that church that they reach followed her to house? How do you think? You have sold your blessing that day with your mouth. Discussion in the boss, you discuss something that you make newcomers when they hear it, they say yes. 
Not something that will make me come and say, God for me, now so this church will be, what you go to hear for us, you could come church, you go back, go to go boss, what you go there, not say, not say, they're not going to discuss like people, where from this topic to this topic, irrelevant, nonsense, worldly topic. The angels that are following you to house, inside that bus, will they run away, they will not run away, will they continue? Don't allow devil to use people to steal your blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you want to talk what pastor will hear, talk a good thing. Praise the Lord. He said, only she is there, pastor. Then even if you know that anything she is there, when you go to her, pray her good. Hey, pastor is dying. That will, hey, hey, pastor will hear it and bless you. Huh? Finished. Praise the Lord. Hey, hey, go and talk a good thing now. He said, anything she is there, pastor. Hey, mommy, with a child. That man, that child. You got me so you want to go and talk about it where she did about pastor. We don't want to go and talk about it. Which means when you are saying don't tell her, which you want to talk about it about pastor, that's the minute. Anything she hears, then pastor. Which means you are intending to talk about it. So if you are reasonable, when you hear such comments, anything you hear, then pastor, hey, pastor, they try you, that woman, they try, hey, good now. Then she come and tell pastor, then you'll be blessed. Praise the Lord. If church closes, when everything goes to your house. Carry your blessing. Enter boss. Talk something reasonable. So that your angels that are following you for church will not scatter after the Damaya. One, one, one angel will follow this person, go come out. Angels just they come before you reach us. The whole angels will follow, but they don't they don't reach heaven. Everybody says it's not my portion. It's not my portion. It's not my portion. Then it's not your portion, go close mouth. Praise the Lord. The blessings you receive today, no one will take it away from you in Jesus' name. Amen. Then when you are fasting, you test you test somebody before you carry a ten. You know, some people think it's only holy. This is what they call holy. Holy. It's not only thief. It's not only thief that goes to the bus or go to the market to steal something thief. When you go to the church, you're sharing food. And people will like to eat. They never eat finish. You will carry politin bag. Pack up. The person that has the food doesn't know that it's only. Everybody say only. Natif. Praise the Lord. Everybody say natif. You teeth for church. So if you go where that same people, now you will carry food. The one that doesn't know you pack food. Visitors come, they didn't see food again. The little woman reached her and so started to eat the night. Start to cook it for people that didn't eat. You that carry that food that went and start eating it without telling that person. It's called what? Ole. <laughs> Ole in the church. Praise the Lord. He's supposed to show the best. I've worked to the Costa church before. I, I never carry food rich one load. If you, that, that, that is a man that carry people's load. I can, he has come here before. Me and him worshiped one Pentecostal church in Bode 15 years ago. I'm the one cooking. I will leave house. If you this one last go, they call Ike. People where that one that carries load. He came there with two times and invited him. I will leave 448 train. That time the first train to Munich. I will go now. I'm the one cooking. The cook kitchen, the church has kitchen and the pastor, the wife are living opposite the church. I will follow 448. 6:30. I'm already in Fed Market inside the church. I will start cooking the whole food. Everybody will eat. When they're coming from down, the church is not full. That I will start I will cook rice, white rice, two coolers, only me, because we have rice pot. I will cook stew. I will cook vegetable. I will cook a I will cook fried rice inside that kitchen. Before one party people comes, everybody will pour it in. Only me, with, only me. No, that when I finish, I will just pack pastor's stone and go and give party. I will go to my house. Spoon of rice will not follow me to house. Till to I go to more than 80 parties in Munich before I pass. I never cut one spoon of rice enter, enter my house before. Anything I want to eat, I eat it here. If not, even in that church, they don't carry food. Everyone's where the one cooking. Nobody will pack. Do you know how they pack food? When everybody finish eating, nobody is eating, nobody is hungry. Not you are sharing this one, those important to us. You pack it, those that are very sweet or very scarce, you pack it one side. You begin to share only rice, 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 rice. Those people share. When church feet closes, nobody is eating. 
they, they begin to call, the women leader will begin to call people that are passing. Who wants to go? Food, still remaining food. So if one, one of the elders will say, okay, uh, okay, give me chicken, chicken, let that. This is how it. I've never seen them with a bad food, but here they see. We have places go do party, good for people who pack the whole food. I've never seen them for before. At this church. Even Catholic church. When I left for the gold stand, I went to another city to come I went to more than 80 parties. One food, no problem, and that. Two food, go finish. One to party. With the people that used to stay in party, when people, people go, that want to carry food, always stay. Because after party, eight o'clock, we have left things are coming. There are people that stay till 10 in the night so that food that remains, who will eat? Not when people eat food. If you know that you're packing food, the person doesn't know. And people, we are not satisfied. They'll be pretending. It's thief. Two people didn't come to pass last Sunday. I asked them. They say because our member look at faces and share food. That's why they didn't come. They were invited. They were invited. A man and a woman. That they look at faces to share food. They look at faces to share drink. That they will come, they will not eat. Praise the Lord. She said the person is saying with, with 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 evidence he came two times here, he didn't eat. At times when you ask them, they will not eat, they will tell me say no problem. I have eaten. They, I didn't know they would have eaten. They will tell me I would have eaten so no problem. They didn't eat too. They will eat. Eh? Yeah. 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 No, they come party and they go eat. If I they go party for money, they go eat. The only thing I will be the food before I come out, I will not come back with this food, come out with the food to my house. I go eat, if I go but I go chop. Because if I invited me, but invited me to come and eat. Praise the Lord. So it's only here I see such a thing. And it's not good. That thing is thief. It's thief. If you don't know it, if you never hear the sermon, hear it today, it's thief. When everybody finish eating, just bring us. If you want to pack food, nobody can come now. They cook different types of soup, food now. There are one that people will like. Maybe pepper soup, yam, rice. So you know that rice is common, people fry to go food everywhere inside your But those ones, sweet, sweet, sweet ones, where there's cars, you will see it only five plates, it will finish. When you ask, you say everybody eats. But what if everybody eat was what only rice. But those other important sweet, sweet ones, you will not see it. That is the thing. If you ask, they will say everybody has eaten, it's only rice. Maybe if I go to party in the morning, I eat everything. If I eat rice, I want to eat grease, I will eat. I eat to me by my mind, I will eat. I will eat everything because everything is shared openly. I will bring the food if I reach out. So you know what I say because he has eaten rice. That's why you not give him to another one. And the food is there. You have to share it. Praise the Lord. So God will give you the as you have had the whole this today, someone. God will use it to remember you in Jesus' name. We have something to the good pass of the 24 elders. And the bread of the Lord of the answer in Jesus' name. Now, you are going to pray on prayer plates now. Apart from house testing, you need to pray, 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 pray. Anything that is in your heart is higher than you need to pray. You need to pray. Jesus. 